What's going on guys? Back at you with another video. I know it's been a while, but like I say, I don't have much to do. Um, today's video is the uh, cam chain tensioners. I'm going to be changing them for peace of mind. Um, as you can see, these are Harley Davidson ones. I did hear they upgraded all the nylons and that that they use on them. So I'm going to be putting these in. Uh, I ain't gonna video me stripping the exhaust off. Right then, so the exhaust's off, footboard's out of the way. Bog's been put up into six gear, pulled the plugs, uh, put this cinder on to, put this cinder on to top dead centre. I'm gonna remove my push rods, they are adjustable, but I have to undo the tappet blocks to get them out. Uh, once I've done that, uh, I'll put a magnet into all the lifters. But obviously both sides then I can get into the cam cam chest. So we'll jump right back in when we're in there. Push rods are out. Uh, the tough blocks are just back on the magnet here to hold the lifters. So they're in place. Spin the uh, cam case cover out now. So the bolts are only out, cut that off. Now we're into the uh, cam chest. The timing marks are lined up. Crap this off, crap this off. Take them off, put them aside. Then I think it's five or six around the edge to pull the cam out. The old cam plates with the cams attached. One's a half inch. I'm going to prise these two off together now, nice and gentle. Bit, of, bit at the top, bit at the bottom. I'm trying to keep them together just for good practice. There we go. There's hardly any wear on that one. Oh, actually, there's a couple of pits and grooving coming in them, so. I've seen a lot worse. I bet the back one's a lot worse. Well, no, we ain't got to touch one of these. These are the oil pumps, so we're going to go around the edge. Cam chest out basically. Um, tension is going to be here, so we'll get a clean up and get the camera running and have a look. Back in, guys, had a bit of an issue. Uh, some there was a <laughs> threaded uh, T27 holding the front tensioner on, so I've had to drill into it and drill it back backwards, like with the reverse uh, drill bit. Right on guys, so I've cracked these, so you're gonna As you see so the tension comes straight off. Same again, just like the front really. Grooving in. Just starting to groove, so it's a good job I got in and changed them. I mean, they could have lasted, who knows, 10 miles, or they could have lasted another 10,000. But for peace of mind, just dab a blue Loctite on the threads. Nothing stupid.
100 inch pounds, which is roughly 11 newton meters. So I'll do them about 10. There we go. So that's the real one done. Palm tight to do for me, but I ain't putting no. Uh, Pressure on right for the we'll pull this out when we get the uh, chains back on. I'm checking all the o-rings are fine. Cams obviously lubed up is all in here. All in the cams like so. Come plate back in though. Gonna obviously put everything back on. Uh, if you if you're doing this and you struggle getting the cam plate, a little bit of a gap behind here. What I'll find to do is just back these off a tiny touch the oil pump. Turn the back wheel and push on the cam plate. Do not put the bolts in and try and thread it up because you'll end up breaking something. Um, put some pressure on the plate. Turn the back wheel and uh, it just slots right in. So now we're going to button everything up, blue lock tight. Uh, get the chain, everything back on. So we'll get into that now. Well, the same as ever, we've got a blue lock tight. I'm going to um, torque these the same as the tensioners. Just get them down. So we'll get these back. I'm just going to do the uh, oil pump first. Because I backed it off a little just to get the seat there. One, two, three, four. Well, there's a pattern for this. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. So what I'm going to do first, obviously, is just get them started. Same again, the sequence for torque. Give them all the one side of them. Make sure everything's been done. One click, don't have to any more than that, and then you're out of spec. So the camp lights back on. I'm 
obviously the come timings there. So obviously we've got to turn the wheel to get the flat of the pinion shaft. Roughly there. Timing's in line. So we're going 30 newton meters, 24 foot pound. 40 newton meters, which is uh, 34 foot pound, 24, 34, according to the book. So we're on 30 newton meters now. Next to the nose, obviously, cover back on. Gasket face is all good. Uh, clean. And remove the magnets. That's that back on. What well, next job is make sure we're back on the uh, top dead centre on the cylinder and put the push rods back in and adjust them up. So um, I've got videos how to do that already. If you look for my videos, I'll put some links in the description uh, to find top dead centre how to adjust your push rods. So hopefully, if that's helped any of you, give me a like, share, and subscribe, thumbs up. You know, and uh, hopefully it saves you a few quid. Thanks for watching. God bless and be back soon with another one. Stay safe out there.